Wilson, Battalion Chief, North County Fire Protection District, G-R-E-G-W-I-L-S-O-N. And if you could tell us where we are and what uh, happened. We're currently on southbound Interstate 15, south of Mission Road, north of Highway 76. Uh, what occurred is uh, we had an engine and an ambulance from North County Fire Protection District uh, tending to some uh, victims of a solo vehicle spin out into the guardrail uh, while they were in the back of the ambulance. A uh, secondary sp spin out occurred uh, in which a uh, vehicle uh, spun from the uh, number two or three lane uh, into the number one lane and into the uh, left hand shoulder center divide and struck the rear of a North County Fire Ambulance. Uh, when this occurred, we had uh, a uh, firefighter and an EMT uh, tending to uh, the three victims of the first crash, along with a CHP officer in the back. Uh, those members sustained minor injuries. Uh, however, the passenger in the uh, second vehicle, the white vehicle that you've seen in your pictures, uh, was killed. Um, we've got ambulances from uh, North County Fire as well as Pier Springs uh, transporting the victims of this incident to area hospitals. So if you could just clarify how many people were in the first crash and how many of these people There were three uh, occupants of the first vehicle, all with very minor injuries. Uh, they've been transported as a precaution uh, to, uh, I believe, Palomar Hospital. Uh, we've also transported our two employees uh, that were in the secondary crash in the back of the ambulance at the time of the secondary crash, as well as the driver of the second vehicle to area hospitals. And so there were two people in the vehicle that were the ambulance and one was killed. That's correct. Two people in the vehicle uh, that collided with the ambulance, resulting in one fatality. And the was, un was uninjured. So he was just tending to the victim? He, he was collecting the information that CHP is required to collect in these incidents. So being that this is a fatality incident, uh, several lanes of the freeway are going to remain closed uh, pending the uh, conclusion of CHP's investigation. And having it being Thanksgiving and something as tragic as this happening, especially with uh, your, your team members being involved in the second incident, well, when I heard the call go out that one of our vehicles was struck on the freeway, uh, suffice to say, I was uh, I was concerned. Um, uh, you know, our, our thoughts go out to the family of the victim that perished in this accident. Uh, fortunately, uh, none of the uh, emergency responders uh, were seriously injured. Was it raining at the time? Yes, it was raining heavily. And was it raining at the time of the first crash? Yes. So both crashes did have rain? Yes, they did. And uh, the traffic impact is coming on that one, is that more of a CHP thing? Well, that's more of a CHP thing. I'm assuming they've issued a SIG alert for southbound 15. Uh, it's a heavy heavy travel time. I'm uh, I'm guessing that this, uh, this backup probably extends up into Temecula. And uh, the passenger in, or the passenger of the second vehicle, that's correct. So the driver can do uh, COVID or condition right now at all? Uh, that's unknown. Okay. And uh, if you add anything that you like to with the amount of people on the road, especially in state traveling, so get the south and combined with the weather. Slow down. Well, thank you so much. All right.